So what's up there guys and welcome back to Digit Detecting. So this is bloody exciting. We uh, we went out this morning and uh, we, we organised last night, went out this morning uh, and we went to basically revisited this site that we uh, checked out last week in last week's video. Um, you'll see it up in the top left corner there now. And basically it uh, wasn't much of a success. So look it got, um, it got to 12 o'clock and I thought, why not? We've still got another two hours up our sleeve. Why not go and see if we can seek another permission? Uh, and so that's exactly what we did. And guess what? We got it. And double guess what? We are here. So this permission, uh, look, I just knocked on the fella's door. I knocked twice and rang the bell. Uh, I presume no one was home because I didn't get an answer. And so I went to walk away. Uh, and as I was walking back to the car, uh, bloke answered the door and he said uh, or basically introdu introduced myself and uh, <laughs> said look I've been up on uh, old Don's property and uh, doing a bit of detecting there uh, would I be possible um, I said uh, a few other bits and pieces you know um, and he goes oh Jesus gates hard what's going on here we're not even going to be able to open the gate <laughs> oh there it goes anyway um, basically sort of explain myself who I was, where I come from, uh, and what I do, and he goes, oh, you want to go detect that old property, don't you? And I said, uh, if that's okay, and uh, he goes, yeah, no worries, mate, uh, go ahead, go ahead. So this is what we're looking at, it's not really uh, focusing if I go only half zoom, so we'll drive in there and let's get a better look at it. But uh, this is what we're detecting today, and we've only got two hours, so we've got to do it quick. Um, I'll take the handbrake off, that might work. Righto, so we've got to do it quick. We're only going to um, basically have a bit of a look around uh, and then um, we will have to come back again and uh, do another round here. So, and the grass is a bit long. I'm just looking now. I've never ever stepped foot on this property. So it's all new to me as it is to you. So the grass is a little bit long. So we're just going to try and work with that. Ah, got it that time. That was easy. Oh, no. And uh, uh, triple guess what? Steve uh, is the bloke's name who owns this property. Steve said, he goes, oh, by the way, mate, uh, I've got another house property you can go check out too. Uh, it's just around the corner there from, from where he lives, basically. Wow, look at that. Grass is way too long, though. Bugger. Uh, anyway, oh, let's just pull up here. Anyway, um, let's go have a look. Anyway, so you've got another property there for me to detect, and I'm more than welcome to go around and have a look at that too. Wow, look at this beauty. Hit the ground running. I don't even care about the detector. Right now, let's just have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, um, he also gave me another lead to another house. He said it was a massive, massive old house. Oh. Bees, bloody hell. Walk straight into that, got too excited. Hate bees. <laughs> Always come across them too. Bloody things. Wow. That is so cool. The grass isn't actually too bad. Uh, it's not as bad as what I uh, presumed. So there you go. Up the top here it is. But we're going to be able to work with that anyway. Let's get in and have a look. Look at the old clothesline. Twing in the tree there. It's actually cutting into the tree. How cool is that? Look at the chimney. What a perler. Wow, look at that. When they built the chimney, check that out. A dog has stood in one of the bricks. That's got to be a dog paw print. That's amazing. They've put it up there. <laughs> that is so cool. 
That is really cool. The things you notice, eh? The things you notice. Ooh, some bottles in there too. I don't think I have my torch on me today. Wow, what a ripper of a place. There's a bottle right there, look at that. Look at that. Gotta keep those eyes open. Oh, what a perler. You know, even if we don't do any detecting today, uh, I'll be happily just scouting around for things like this. So, what a bloody perler. <laughs> Got me looking at all uh, um, around the, the sides of the houses now. Uh, I'm sure there's probably bottles under the house at this place too, like I always say. Wow, look at the front veranda. Isn't that bloody ripper? God, I love these old places. And once again, what do we have here? Peppercorn tree, peppercorn tree, peppercorn tree, peppercorn, peppercorn. They're not peppercorns. There's a peppercorn. There's a peppercorn. There, pepper, that's a peppercorn. Those two are peppercorns over in the distance. Look, what I'm trying to say is, uh, what I always say about the peppercorn trees, they were planted uh, by early settlers uh, as a natural way to deter flies. They, they're a good fly deterrent. The, the little berries that the um, peppercorn trees uh, basically produce um, is a natural fly deterrent. So there you go. Wherever you see peppercorn trees, uh, generally a good indication uh, that there is or was uh, once a house site there. Oh wow, I can hear those bees. Look at them. Wow, they've got a whole hive in there. We're not going in that door. Wow. Wow. Okay, we'll steer clear of the bees. God, I hate bees. Holy moly. Can you see what I can see? <laughs> the old piano. Even the old picture frames up on the mantelpiece still. That is bloody amazing. You know, I've been driving past this house site uh, for only a couple of weeks now uh, while we've been doing Don's old farm. And here we are. <laughs> here we are already. Bloody hell. What a ripper of a place. So we got that bottle uh, just by having a quick walk around. Now, I always miss stuff when I walk around really quickly. I might see the odd thing, the odd very obvious thing like this. Um, however, I generally, when start detecting, uh, I generally find 10 times more. Because when you're detecting, uh, you're obviously moving a lot slower and taking it all in more. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this detector out. We're gonna try not to get stung by bees. And we're gonna try and take in as much as we can uh, at this old house. So guess what? Uh, I'm doing. Cha-ching! Found a torch. We're gonna go inside. <laughs> I just had a quick swing around with a detector, um, but we're gonna try and get inside somehow, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay, we're inside. Check this out, would ya? Uh, it's like someone's just um, grabbed a small part of their belongings and left. It's almost a bit eerie, and I haven't even left the bedroom yet. Okay, oh, look at this. Crack goes the knees. Wow, look at this. There's a whole heap of buttons on the ground. Yeah, see it easy with the torch off. Look at that, heaps. So it's fine them with the detector, they're inside here. Look at that, one, two, the old lead washer, another button. Looks like a little pearl button. Another one, another one. Pretty cool, we might pick a few of those up. Oh look, there's a one cent coin laying on the floor. Find those buggers anywhere. I didn't even have to look hard. What else can we see? P 
Foundry tar. That looks like um, talcum powder. It is talcum powder. <laughs> uh, I can smell it. You know, if we look carefully enough, we might find a marble um, just laying in one of the floors or the bedrooms. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is eerie. I did say to old mate, you know, do you mind if I have a, a bit of a look through? Yeah, no, go for it, go for it. He was happy. Um, oh, the shotgun shell. Oh, something moving in there. Oh, it's a possum. No, big rats. <laughs> wow, they are big. Jesus, the size of possums they are. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Oh, dear. I'm always about, oh, look at this. Um, get out of here, rats. Look at this cast iron bed. What a cracker. Wow. Oh, they're scaring the hell out of me. There's, there's a whole family living in here. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's one. He just skittled out through the wall. That's creepy. Ugh. Hate rats. Hate rats. God. Look at that. Bloody hell. Don't know what to say, I'm just a bit lost for words going through these places. They're so cool. Oh, there's still more in there. Jesus. Jesus. They're going up the curtains. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. That gets the heart going. The old jar here. Don't know what he is. It's pretty cool. I don't know how many rats are in this suitcase. Oh. None. Haven't made their way in there yet. Look at the old spinny top. Um, under the bed there. Right there. Yeah. Torch is not really helping to see stuff, is it? Anyway. Creepy. The rats have been into everything. So that's the front door. Oh, look at that bloody lock. What a beauty. Make sure nothing's going to jump out and bite me. So there's those lock plates again. Oh, how do I do this? Oh, that's better. Look at that. What have we got? Registered trademark. Something. Patent expired, Carpenter, number 60. What a ripper. And there's one of those door locks uh, that we keep finding <laughs> in every video. Uh, very cool. Look at the high ceilings. Very, very cool. Stretch fit nylons. Hmm. There you go. That, that bed is awesome. It's not in the best condition. We'll leave... Um, We'll leave the rats in there to sleep in there. Oh, it's so creepy. Yeah, possums or something's been... Oh, I don't know. I think that's possums. Oh, the rats are done to the floor. Chewed straight through it. I'm just inspecting every room before I walk in here. So I don't know what to expect. I'm not thinking there's going to be a boogeyman or something in here. That's not what I'm worried about. I just don't want possums or bloody rats jumping flat out at me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it was broke already. Oh, look at that. That little swan. How cool is that? It's so dark in here. Yes, we've got a um, oh, copper windmill decoration piece. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Got my old butcher knife. Hoo -hoo. Someone's made a, a stabby fork to toast their stuff with. Hey, this is a snow globe. 
Oh wow. It's got camels. Ready? Well that didn't work. I think the snow globe's broken. <laughs> So, see if I could see any pictures, that'd be cool. No rats about to jump out of the floor. Well, here you go. Look at that, isn't that a bit, um, I'm just trying to hold the light the right way. Isn't that a bit freaky? I still got the pictures hanging on the wall and everything. There's another picture down there. Well, it gives us an idea who used to live here. The old handsaw, and straight away I seen it, the old rivet uh, in the side of the handsaw. Now some would have uh, dug these up before, and I've dug a few, uh, and they're actual old manufacturer's uh, rivet. Showed who made the saw, very, very cool. We might even grab him. That's that's really cool. So it's just freaky being in here. It really is. There's another picture. Ooh. And we're moving closer to where the bees were too, so I don't really want to go uh, annoying them. The old pictures. Little pictures of little scenery. Very cool. Oh wow, look at this piano. Third Therma. Th third? Third Therma Meisen. Sounds German. Third Therma Meisen. It's a Therma Meisen. Yeah, it's definitely German, I reckon. Although the French do make a lot of pianos. Allen's. It actually says Allen's Melbourne. There you go. Soul Agents Allen's Melbourne. Huh. Very cool. Look at this. Quite the decorative piano. Look at that. What a bloody ripper. That's a beautiful piano. Bloody beautiful. I wonder its age. Now, growing up at home, we had a piano as kids. My sister used to play. A uh, very, very cool piece. Let's see the lid. Ooh. She's caked on with stuff. It actually looks like the termites uh, have been getting in there, which is a shame. Poor old piano might get eaten away. Right, what you're all wondering, does it work? Oh, it does too. Oh, the keys are a bit sticky. Shh, shh, stop, shh. You'll wake people up. That's bloody awesome. Bloody unreal. The things you see, the places you visit, eh? Okay, so we've got some more bottles and stuff in here. Uh, this will be the back door, I presume. Leads into one last room out the bow, two two rooms. So we've got one room here. Uh, just look and see if I can... <laughs> There's an old, like, stitching thread down there. It's pretty cool. You know, you could spend days, literally days, looking over these old places. Uh, just finding stuff. Like this, little bottle. What's left of it. There's a bottle. He's nothing special. He's a cool looking bottle though. Yeah, no, nah, you could just spend days, you really could. Look, there's an old rivet joining two pieces of leather together. I'm sorry the torch is uh, 
not the best. It's not really helping to show you stuff. It's helping me to see stuff. Um, but it's not helping you all that much, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's, there's an old rivet. You find heaps of those. Joins two pieces of leather together, as I said. Where are all the marbles? Come on, kids, where'd you drop your marbles? That's what I'm always chasing when I go to these old sites. It's bloody marbles. I love them. There's a little bottle. He's got glitter. Glitter in him. Hmm. The Coral Island by George Robertson. Yeah, as I said, you could spend, buddy, uh, you could spend hours and hours looking through these old places. You'd never get... What is that? There's another cupboard. You'd never get bored, would you? Oh, so this is like a little back... Um, storage room. <laughs> cool. Very cool. There's another button. Little jar. Another tomato sauce bottle. Little perfume bottle. It's a something. It's another. Yeah, it's a cotton, cotton and thread. Oh, cotton, cotton reel, I should say. Someone liked the sewing. Another little bottle. Old tap, <laughs> pretty cool. Ew. <laughs> pretty cool little tray. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Looks like they got some some water damage. <laughs> Unreal. What's behind door number one? Oh. The room that we just come out of. Well that answers that question, doesn't it? Right out, let's uh let's have a look at this last room. These floorboards are as sketchy as anything. What's behind door number two? Oh, quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> that is cool. I turned the torch off. We don't need it in here. The old TV. What a ripper. Look. Oh, there they are there. Took, took, took. That's so cool. Love it. I love it. <laughs> there you go. There's the tomato sauce bottle lid. Rosella. It's in perfect condition too. We might even keep him. I know it's only a bottle top. But still cool, old Rosella. Where are all the damn marbles? So I keep wondering. They should just be like kicking around on the floor nearly, you'd think. Oh wow. Got buttons. That's a lot of buttons, isn't it? Ah! Oh. Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Australian Red Cross Appeal. Ha, ha, ha. Now, this is the sort of stuff you'd expect to find digging up uh, around the house in the ground. That is a ripper. Bloody ripper. Love it. What else have we got here? Oh, a lovely little brooch. There's some hallmarks on the back there too. We might show Steve these things and ask him, Steve, what do you want to do with this, mate? Um, are you okay to let it go, or did you, you know, do you want to keep it or what? Because uh, they're two very cool pieces. We won't take them now. We'll leave them. But um, <laughs> there's a two cent coin, so we found a one cent and a two cent uh, just by walking around the bloody house. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll put them back in there for now, and um, we'll ask Steve about them. They're very cool. Very cool. So I'm sure if we look hard enough, uh, you'd find probably more of that stuff, but uh, we'll have a talk to the landowner first, so to be sure, to be sure, I don't want to go uh, stepping on toes or making anybody, um, you know, yeah, not doing the right thing, so always got to do the right thing. 
And the way I see it is I try and do what I feel is the right thing, you know. Uh, if I had someone coming, that's lead. It's heavy as lead. Uh, if I had someone coming to look through an old house, um, yeah, I'd probably want them to ask me too before they grabbed anything. So, oh, what do we got in here? This video is getting extremely long, but oh, I can hear those bees. <laughs> They're just like outside humming, humming away. The whole front of the house is like buzzing. Some old tools. This old saw's probably got a manufacturer's ribbon in it too. Yes, it does. There you go. Warranted super. What a ripper. This one's probably got one too. No, it doesn't. No. Pretty cool. The old tap there. Oh, I thought I nearly stood on marble then. I was going to say, oh, look what we found. Da 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 da. We got a marble. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, look out. We got another one. We're on the marbles. That That's a new one, but that's an old Bennington, that one there. He's a cracker. He's a cracker. Old Bennington marble. He 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 would date to the probably the late eighteen hundreds. Oh look, there's another one. Three. And that's a ginger beer um ginger beer bottle marble. That is so cool. Three marbles. We are having a win. Um I'm sure the landowner doesn't want to keep marbles. But what did I say? You know, like you should just be able to see them laying around on the floor. And seeing three like that, that uh, tells me there was kids here, and I'm sure there's going to be more. That is bloody cool. Three marbles laying on the floor. What are they doing in the kitchen though? You know, get out of the kitchen, kids. Go play with your marbles somewhere else. I uh, recognise that straight away. That's a tire cap valve. See the thread on the inside? See, that's an old tire cap valve. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <gasps> oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's got a glass stopper and three marbles. Oh, the more we look, the more we find. Huh. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if we can find another marble or two, eh? Those are... Those are so cool, as you see. Marbles uh, get me really excited. I absolutely love finding them. There's just something about them. I've got a fascination with marbles. And I can I can name a lot of them, you know. Um, uh, your Benningtons and your, your crockeries and uh, your ginger beer type marbles and your early earlier type. I can, I can generally name a lot of them. So very, very cool. Very cool. I love marbles. Right, I think that might do... Um, I'm going to have a bit of a scratch through here, just looking for any more marbles on the floor with me eyeballs, and uh, and then we're going to get out of here, guys, so uh, get back to detecting a little bit more, I think, so, hey, that's cool, that's the old um, uh, light thing off a bike, so that would be mounted to a bike, and that bit there, I think, one of those bits there would turn, and it would um, generate uh, light for your bike, very cool, very cool. These old sites are just fascinating. They really are. Is that a marble? Oh, it is too. We've got another marble. <laughs> ah, awesome. That looks like it was a marble. He's pretty broken. Oh, I can hear those bees humming around. Bzzz. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> We're just lifting stuff and finding it now. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, we're gonna clear up a bit of this stuff here. See if we can't find another couple of little marbles. They're like that, like that, God. Oh, what a good day, what a good day. And another one. <laughs> uh, I'm loving this, as you can tell, absolutely loving this. And we're gonna pick up all these buttons too. Because uh, these buttons are cool. That was another marble right there, but you can see he's just he's been obliterated So little bead Oh hear those bees they're right out the window. I don't care. I'm getting marbles go away Right, we're gonna find more and we are gonna get out of here So stay tuned and we'll show you what we got at the end. Okay, so as you can see uh, we're out of the house now 
Uh, we're gonna have to finish up very soon. However, I wanted to show you something. Did I uh, mention how much I love marbles? <laughs> how cool is that? We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven marbles uh, coming out of that site just for keeping our eyes open. So really, really cool. There's only a couple in there that I can spot uh, that are of uh, any good age. Uh, however, I love marbles regardless of their age uh, and regardless of when they were made. Uh, a lot of the early ones though, uh, like this brown one here, uh, that's a Bennington. You can see the little eye in the side. And the reason why they've got that little eye in the side, I'll pick him up individually. Uh, basically what happens is, you see this guy here, he would have been made from sort of 1920, 1930 onwards. You can tell. Look how perfect he is. There's no crudeness about him, no misshape. Uh, he's machine made, so uh, obviously made sometime after the 1900s. So next you have a look at this fella and see how out of shape he is. He's not perfectly round. He's a little bit crude looking uh, and he has these spots on him, or one spot especially. And that little spot there, uh, basically, what happens is, uh, well, there's two spots. So there's one, one, two. So basically what would have happened is that marble, um, the old process of marble making, uh, was in the fire, heating them up. So basically what happens is that little spot there uh, would be where the marble basically was touching up against another one. And they call them, uh, I think they call them... Uh, Geez, I can't even, craters or measles, or so, I can't remember the proper name for them. But basically, uh, he's been um, given that little eye in him uh, due to the firing process. Uh, whereas, you know, these ones here are uh, basically all machine made. And they wouldn't have been touching up against each other like that uh, in later years when they made them. So therefore, they don't have any of that sort of misshape or crudeness about them. Uh, the early ones do so very very cool i absolutely love my marbles um and we got uh, we've got a, quite a good little tally there for today so what we're going to do uh, i can't help myself we're going to go back inside and give it one more go one more round uh, and really really uh have a good look just see if we can't find any more we will be coming back to this site however uh wouldn't it be nice to take another handful of marbles out of there today so anyway I'm probably getting greedy, aren't I? <laughs> so, nah, very cool. I always say, uh, look out for marbles, and uh, well, that's the reason why. So, let's get back in the house. Hey, what have we got here? Set of old dentures. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. So check this out. I've just lifted up the, um, the carpet a little bit. Uh, there's actually two types of different lino there. Um, so it's been just linoed and linoed straight over again. But we've got the Argus. Thursday, March 14th, 1918. Uh, very, very cool. So we got British air reprisal. Um, great explosion caused. The West Front, Australians ready to receive enemy's blow. The artillery facing the Australian front is warming up. The Australians during the occupation of this part of the line have been busy tidying up their trenches and making the whole sector secure. The quietness of the sector has enabled them to build up their strength to indulge in a rest after the shock of the last fighting and to get reinforcements into fighting trim. So get them ready. Get them ready. That's really cool. I'm tempted just to buddy carefully fold this newspaper up and take it home and have a read, to be honest. Um, find out what was going on. Thursday, 14th of March, 1918. We've even got the weather there. <laughs> so cool. History at its best. It really is. Don't be hard on Russians. <laughs> Return Englishman's advice. Commissioner Map of the Salvation Army has returned to London from Russia. In an interview, he stated we should not entertain hard feelings towards Russia. Nine-tenths of the people are as loyal as ever to Great Britain and the Allies. So you've got to remember at that stage, we were still very reliant on Britain uh, as a mother, mother country. Uh, we were a, f a federated country. Um, however, uh, we were still very reliant on Britain. So, very cool. So there's the first, there's the first lino. And there's the second. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. Oh, still looking for more marbles, you know. Anyway, we, uh, we might read a few more newspapers and uh, look for a few more marbles and get out of here. Holy Moses! You'll never guess what I just found. Ah, more marbles. <laughs> they were sitting in a bag uh, just underneath the newspapers. Whoa! Bennington, Bennington. Uh, what else we got there? Don't know about that guy. He's a clay marble. Helps us zoom in. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, we've got another Bennington, but he's a blue one. So generally, Benningtons are blue and brown. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, I'm having a ripper of a time. What was that? Like an old bread bag or something. Uh, yeah, how cool is that? What we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I think we got, what, 16 before? So, ah, uh, bloody hell, bloody hell. 30 odd marbles now. That is so cool. That is so cool. Let's see if we can find some more because we've got uh, about half an hour and we've got to get out of here. The marbles in the pocket. Uh, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. I was just um, just sort of doing this, like mucking around, and uh, it was just underneath this silage uh, stuff in the newspapers there, was a bag full of marbles. Uh, what is that? Oh, I'm going to try in here now, um, and just sort of have a bit of a sift, poke through the floor, see what else I can't find. So stay tuned, let's hope we can get some more marbles. Bloody awesome. Marbles, I got marbles. I got marbles. And I got more marbles. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what a great day. Absolutely love marbles. I know I've said that a hundred times, but as if you couldn't, how cool are they? I'm like a big kid in a candy store. And we've got one Bennington, two, three, four, five Benningtons. They would be the oldest there. Um, yeah, very, very cool. We've got a couple of swirls too. You can see that. He's got a Swirl inside, and he's got a swirl. Not all that old though. Very cool, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. I'm gonna go back inside. Oh no, look I won't. I was gonna go back inside one more time, try and hunt for marbles, but I might wait uh, until I see uh, me mate and see if he wants to come out here and give me a hand uh, going through the floorboards with the pinpointers and a bit of a shovel. We might actually put some dust masks on too because she's pretty dusty in there. Anyway, um, We've got a, probably another half an hour uh, to detect, and then we have to, oh, I left my glove in the car, uh, and then we have to get out of here. So we're going to do a bit of detecting, because we've spent our whole time in the house chasing marbles and everything else. So that's okay, we're going to do a bit of detecting now, and see what we can find uh, in half an hour. I found a dairy. Oh, some mighty big scotch thistles. Oh. Oh, let's go for a wander. Because I love wandering. Okay, so she's a little she's a little walking dairy. The roof's collapsed, obviously. But she's a little two bale walking dairy. So the cows would walk in here and one here. And they'd drop their neck in there and they'd start eating while the farmer got in here and milked them. And it would have all been done by hand, obviously, up until uh, this come in later, because this, this wouldn't have been here originally, uh, if it's a little walk-in dairy. I dare say, the old Eclipse milker. Yes, I dare say it's come in a little bit later. So that one. So there you go. There you go. He actually had a third cow. Uh, we're standing in the third bar right now. You can see one. Two, three, uh, old airlines, um, and that's where the milk would have flowed up to, into those little inspection bowls. All right, oh. I got an old rabbit trap. That's cool. I wonder if it's a Scotsman. No, I don't think so. It's funny. I just got given one of these uh, the other week by a, um, a farmer. He gave me the old Scotsman uh, rabbit traps. So very cool, very cool. I, um, you don't obviously find them very often. 
if at all, but uh, to get given one, yeah, it was really cool. See if we can squeeze through here. We're only skinny. Jeez, this would be snow caving uh, during the summer. So this is obviously um, the 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 machine room. Machine. Uh, so this would have been where the vat um, the vat was, and the basically where all the milk milk was stored, uh, and where um, all the noisy machines were. Wines, vinegar, wine, vines, vinegar. A nice old bottle there. So yeah, pretty cool. Just sort of taking it all in. Nice bottle there. Okay, so this is a property of Munro Footscray. Beautiful old bottle. Oh, look at the embossing. Contents only sold. Bottle remains property of W. Munro Footscray. This bottle must not be used as a food container. Ho, ho, ho. He's gave us warning. Don't use it as a food container. We're going to take him. He's a ripper. Um, we'll see what else we can find. I'll come back if I find anything interesting. So um, we're just humming around at the back of the house now, trying to kill 10 more minutes and then we're heading home. And uh, I got a target in here. It was uh, just a like an old, um, I'll show you. One of these, just an old container. Uh, it may have been a perfume container or something. Yeah, anyway, just that. But in the same hole, uh, I was pulling out glass and where is it? Yeah, there, big chunk of glass, half a bottle there. He actually says, liquid vanille? I don't know. Anyway, so I was pulling that out and I thought, hmm, there must have been a burn pit here. Uh, so I just started sifting through with my hands. Uh, oh, look, there you go. That's what I was just saying. There must have been a burn pit here. Um, so I was just sifting through my with my hands uh, and we'll come across um, this item first, which... I thought it was a marble. It's not. I don't know what it is exactly. Um, but anyway, we come across, oh, not even focusing for you, sorry. Come across that first, and then we found this little bit of red stuff. You can tell he's been through a fire, all melted. And then we found this little, uh, this little topper, this little ball. I don't know, he's got an opening down the bottom. And there's just other things coming out, just like that. Like, that's not a stone, obviously. It's just too round. Anyway, I'm just going to keep, we might even open up, yeah, so just, we might even open up, um, sort of cut back here, that'll help, cut back here and just open up a bit of a, a bit of a pit and see what's going on, or we might go that way, or we might go that way, or we might come this way, but uh, we better fill in half this uh, hole first, we'll get rid of that glass, and um, yeah, we'll just open up a little bit more of a hole, uh, seeing as though those items have come out from there. And uh, let's just see what we can find with our eyes. Uh, thought I found something else then. Yeah, you can see the glass is all melted, so definitely an old burn pile here. So there you go, filled that hole in beside us and opened up the next hole. And what were we just saying? A burn pit. And you can see the ash in there. And straight away, as soon as I turned the plug over, uh, this guy's sitting there, so little cap. Don't know what he's off. He looks familiar for some reason, but I uh, just can't ID him right now. But uh, yeah, look, definitely a burn pit. We're just going to go through here and pick out any items that we can find. Oh, there's another one, uh, and hopefully there might be a few glass bottles in amongst it all, um, and maybe even little. Uh, doll's leg or you know uh, doll's foot or something you just never know you never know uh, amazing what these sort of things will give up if you just have the patience and the time to persist well so it's not a marble well, it looks like it doesn't it but it's like a little fancy topper thing and I hit him with a shovel too because I was just digging like a madman crazy and uh, sliced straight into him so but I'm not detecting this. I'm 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 just um, just humming around with a shovel, so it's likely to happen. So let's see what else we got in here. 
nothing. Let's see if we can find uh, something else cool. It looks pretty cool, that topper. Just wish it was a marble. So what do we always say about looking in old trees uh, for bottles? You see him? Uh, hope there's nothing else in there. Anyway, let's stick our hand in and grab him. Ah! It's got me! Oh. It's just a broken jar. Never mind. We tried. Let's have a look at this one. No bottles in that guy. He's nearly about to fall down. Actually, check the old wheel. <laughs> Very cool. Right, let's have a look in the next tree. Oh, it's hard being tall. I keep getting strangled and choked by everything. And clothes on, and trees, and... Yeah, so I don't think this guy's got big enough gaps and openings for anything to get put in there. Have a look at this one. Nope. Let's have a look at... This is a big uh, peppercorn tree, isn't it? I don't think there's any bottles up there somehow. It's huge! That'll keep the flies away. So I'm just killing five more minutes and then we are going to get out of here. And I got stung by that stingy grass again. Stinging needles and it's itching my arm again. Arrgh. Yeah, no, nah, look, I think we're going to get out of here, guys. And we are going to... Hello! <laughs> uh, we're going to go uh, wrap up the video at home and do a conclusion. So... Yeah, very cool. There's just stuff everywhere. The more you look, the more you can just keep picking up. So... This big old thing I just found a second ago. What was that for? It's huge! Okay, so welcome back there, guys. Uh, it's actually the next day. Uh, we uh, we put all these relics in uh, in a bathtub last night, or in a, in a plastic container. We let them soak, and uh, basically, we're going to give you uh, a look over them today. So, as you can see, we've got a lot going on. So, we're going to make this uh, quick, short, sharp, and uh, informative as possible, and we'll try and get through it all. And uh, basically give you a look at it all. So this is a, a Fowler's preserving jar. Uh, we found one of these uh, in the video up above uh, just last week. Uh, we actually found a couple actually. Um, different sizes, uh, different sizes I should say. I was going to say sizing. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the tallest one, the biggest one, uh, number 36. And uh, he's a ripper. He's a ripper. High temp preserving jars. Very cool. I've actually got uh, all three sizes now. Uh, really cool. So some uh, uh, no-name uh, triangle bottles. I don't know really why I picked them up. Uh, they're just pretty cool, so I grabbed them. Uh, little bottle here. I'd say here's a little scotch, uh, little scotch or whiskey bottle. Uh, same as this guy here, a uh, little scotch or whiskey bottle, um, basically. And really cool design uh, around him, so that's why I kept him. Uh, and I'd say a label or something would have been uh, affixed on the front. So anyway, this guy here, he was actually found at the start of the video. Some will remember, he was found uh, down beside the house uh, just by using our eyes. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, old not to be taken poison bottle. We took it. Uh, very cool. And uh, the reason why I love these ones, you put them on display and you put them up on the light and they just come up so bloody good. Like this big boy here. Check this guy out. Look at him, what a cracker. Now, I've got to clean the inside of these bottles. I just had them soaking uh, in a, in a, in a uh, basically a plastic tub last night and a bit of, bit of soap. So I only just soaked sort of the outside, gave them a light scrub, uh, as you can see, uh, only a very light scrub and they need to be cleaned inside. Ew. Anyway, uh, what have we got? She's a Munro. Uh, property of W Munro Footscray. Footscray is in Melbourne. Uh, contents only sold, bottle remains. The property of W Munro Footscray. Uh, this bottle must not be used as a food container. Uh, we're not going to use it like that. We're just going to display it. But what a bloody ripper. Um, I love uh, that bottle. That's, a, that's an excellent bottle. Anyway, next up we've got this one. Uh, another preserving jar by the looks. To contain only Legos, jams, pickles or preserves. So... 
very cool, very cool. Once again, love the embossing. And he probably had a label uh, right there in that little oval uh, piece. So pretty cool. Uh, we've got a tomato sauce bottle. It's not a white crow uh, tomato sauce bottle. However, I do believe it is a sauce bottle. Uh, picked up this one and he looked like a no-namer. However, upon uh, inspecting him, it's actually a Schweppes uh, lemonade bottle. So very, very cool. That's the first uh, Schweppes bottle I've got and uh, about the seventh one of these guys I've got. However, uh, I had to pick him up. They are a beautiful bottle of Coca-Cola bottles. And the reason why it's so bloody clean is because it must have been rinsed at one stage by the pre uh, previous, uh, well, the pr uh, someone. <laughs> anyway, uh, someone's rinsed it out and they, they set a plastic lid on top and uh, they had it up, set it up on the table there. So uh, really cool. That's why it's so clean. I just gave him a clean up on the outside and he's come up ripper. Uh, anyway, I've got this little uh, bottle here. Don't know what he was, but anyway, pretty cool one. And little Pex jar. Uh, would have had some sort of mustard or spread or something in it. Uh, you can see there, Pex. Uh, it looks like a motorbike grip. Ring, ring, ring. Really cool little bottle. And same as this one here. I don't know what he was. However, he's just a cool little jar. A patterning and that on it. Anyway. Uh, patterning, design, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one here, he's a lid off something. Uh, hang on, wait a minute. No. Not, a, not quite. Uh, that would have a lockdown uh, sealable lid too, I'd imagine, being a preserving jar. And uh, this guy is not it. That's better. So, AG Victory, AG Victory, yeah, I'm not, not quite sure how to say that. Uh, anyway, pretty cool. Got the little glass stoppers. You can see this guy, he's still got some corking uh, left on him, which would have been used to help seal the bottle. Like that. So, pretty bloody cool. Love that, love the glass stoppers. Um, love finding them. I'm not gonna show you what's under there. That's a surprise. We'll leave that till the end. I'm sure some uh, will guess. Anyway, moving through. Little brooch, pin, piece. Sorry, I'm in the sun. Uh, we did ask if we could take these. Um, Steve was had no issue. Uh, basically, didn't even know half it was there. <laughs> so, and he said, yeah, no, nah, look, mate, you appreciate it more than I do. Take it. It's been sitting there for God knows how long. This one here is Stokes and Sun Melbourne. Can you see that? I'll zoom in there a bit more. Stokes and Sun Melbourne, and they were a big, uh, basically, manufacturer uh, in Melbourne there of these old uh, badges, military buttons, uh, everything. So uh, they made a lot of pendants and stuff like that. Anyway, moving through. You got all your little beads. Uh, they would have been around your wrist on a little um, chain. Your one and two cent coins. We found them just walking around the house. You can see how good a condition they are. They have not been attacked by the ground, by the moisture. Pretty cool. However, it's just a two cent coin, isn't it? Uh, little saddle buckle. That's very cool. Would have had a little pin coming down here as part of the buckle. So, and on the back, he's just plain. So, nice piece, though. I like that. Uh, little fly button. I'll pick him up and give you a look. Little fly button. Bzzz. Really cool. This guy here, no, he's not real diamonds. Uh, look, I'm not going to go through all the buttons. You can see them there, uh, that way. I'm trying to work out which way to zoom you. You can see them there, though. We got, we've got a ton of buttons. So, and as many as you see here, uh, we left probably just as many more uh, on the floor. We just couldn't pick them all up. We didn't pick them all up. Anyway, is what it is. So, pretty cool. I don't know what I'll do with them all. I'll probably put them in a little um, jar or something and put them on display. So, next is the old tobacco tin. Um, you can see. It's got Sydney written down there, something, something. Don't know, but on the back, Capstan Navy Cut Fine Tobacco. Ooh, what a ripper. What a ripper. We're going to try and uh, give him a bit of a clean up. We might use some bicarb soda uh, on the lid there and try and remove a bit of that rusty sort of look and try and clean up the lettering. So this guy here, he was what I thought he was. He's a little bike uh, light. So a little generator. Uh, to produce, to generate uh, power for your bike light. So as you can see there, 6 volt, 1.8 watt, and he's made in England, and he's made by Miller's. Miller. And this pit here 
would have been in contact with the bike wheel, the back wheel, and basically uh, this is where it would have mounted on the dropout of the forks, and it would have produced your 1.8 watt to power your light. Very cool. Uh, the old tap, focus, there it goes. The old tap, focus. There it goes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Nothing special. He was just laying on the floor. So we picked him up. Oh, look. Little Lego and everything inside. Yeah, very cool. Uh, what else do we have? The old um, Christie's shaving stick top lid. Cotty's lid. Uh, the old Fowler's preserving jar lids. Now, these were actually stacked together like that. And as I took one off, it got better. And as I took the other off, Got even better again. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. This little guy here, he was dug out uh, detecting at the back there in that burn pit. Uh, you can see he's been through a fire. And I'd say he would have been mounted on the wall like that, uh, like on the bottom of a flagpole, and you would have done a figure eight with the rope uh, to tie down. So that, that's a tie down point, that one there. Um, Rosella uh, source lid, uh, the shotgun uh, barrel blocker, Oh, I think that's what I don't know the proper name for them. Basically when you open your shotgun uh, These drop into where the shotgun bullets would generally sit uh, when the gun is not in use So you would put these in uh, I know I know because my brother's got uh, a couple of shotguns and um, he, he uses these uh, in his guns. So basically um, Yeah uh, I Can't remember look they basically just to protect the pins of your gun uh, when you're not using it so um, look I'll call it a, a, a barrel blocker uh, a pin pin blocker anyway I don't know the correct terminology for them uh, little belt buckle uh, the old tie cap valves really cool some are made in Canada and uh, this middle one here is made in USA and he's made in Canada so two Canada one USA I don't know what this fella is here I really don't know what it is it's made in England and it's got a pattern number on it so we can track it and then it says it says something I don't know I don't know and it unscrews let me show you <coughs> if I can it unscrews it unscrews oh there it goes so it unscrews into two pieces. You've got your, 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 your I don't know, that piece. <laughs> and then this piece. And it almost looks like a little uh, lock pick or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, moving through. Knives, uh, forks and spoons. No knives. It's funny, we don't find knives very often, do we? We find a lot of forks and spoons. We don't find knives. I wonder why that is. Um, oh well. Anyway, da -da, da -da, da -da. let's have a look what's under the Nest Cafe lid. Uh, and no, I didn't find this in the house. I found this in my house. But what's underneath it, I found in the old house uh, with all this stuff. So some will already know, but uh, anyway, let's go. Woohoo! Oh, that wasn't very smart, was it? Yeah, now they're everywhere. So we've got marbles. Uh, we've got 26 of them in the end. Uh, so some would have seen me start off basically uh, by finding... Uh, oh, jeez, I can't even remember the first marble we found. I think it was like... I think it might have been this guy. I think he was the first one that we spotted on the floor. Anyway, um, so upon spotting that one... And look, we were on the lookout for them already, but upon spotting that one, um, basically, uh, we moved on and just kept hunting for them, uh, you know, relentlessly, basically. And, well, look how many we found. We got 26, as I said. So I'm going to try and lay a few out here in the spoon so they're not sitting on top of each other and you can get a good look uh, at actually what we've got. So uh, we've got a couple of Benningtons. So you can see the Benningtons are the brown ones here. I'm not really doing a good example, am I? Um, let me grab more in my hand. And we've also got a blue Bennington. So the Benningtons are the oldest that I can see here. Uh, and I know that because I've found them before and done a little bit of research on marbles before. You see the little eyes on them that we spoke about? That's where they were touching uh, during the firing process, during the manufacturing firing process. So really cool. Uh, I love marbles. Bloody love marbles. And they're the Benningtons. 
uh, as I just mentioned. So we're going to put them in there together in the little Fowler's lid and we'll go through to the next one. So this one, this one, this fella, they're all clay marbles. So they're all just, um, they would have come out of your, probably your ginger beer bottles um, and, and been saved. So and the next we've got these other fellas, fellas, <laughs> uh, and basically they would be later marbles. Uh, I think some are called like blood eye or blood, blood. I can't remember exactly uh, the name for them, but they're probably, look, they're probably 1930s, 40s onwards. So we'll put them in Dara. Uh, and then we'll just go through. Oh, look, that one's a little clay one too. Focus. Now. Aha. Yeah, so here's a little clay one too. So he should be in there. And uh, we've got a couple of spirals. So we've got a few. They're actually later made spiral marbles. Uh, so they should be in there. Oops, dropped one. Seen it. And uh, these are earlier type spirals. So uh, you can see they've had a pretty hard life. Uh, here's, a, here's a single core spiral. And he's got like four or five colours on the outer. Uh, and then this guy, he is a single core again with red uh, and orange bands or red bands. There was one here. This one here, I think it was. Yeah, so you can see there. Well, he's actually got a single core. That white core in the middle. And he's got uh, your blue and your green bands around. So no double cores, no triple cores, uh, all single cores. Um, and these glass ones here, they would be out of your uh, like your torpedo bottles. Uh, uh, sorry, your cod bottles, your marble bottles, uh, where the marble was up in the neck to seal the bottle. Uh, and these, no little spire one here. He's pretty badly damaged. Look how tiny he is though. Uh, like that's a standard size marble there. And he's even smaller again, so really cool. Look, I'm not gonna, I, I won't keep going on about him, but um, can you tell how much I love him? Just love him. And look, I've got a good collection of marbles already. I'll have to bust them all out one day uh, and show you all of our marbles together, and we can go through and have a bit of a talk about uh, the history of them and the manufacturing process of them. Because I know they're only marbles to some, but. Uh, you know, some of these small pieces, some of these small items can be, you know, the history behind them. You know, to some they're just items, but if you learn a little bit about them and the history behind them, how they're made, how they're, they come about and all that sort of stuff, they're actually really, really cool. So anyway, I, uh, enough blabbering. Uh, this video is 15 minutes long now. So look, that's about a wrap up, guys. We really hit the nail on the head at this site and uh, we're going to he head back there again and see if we can't do that again. Uh, I'm sure we won't come out with this much stuff. However, we're going to try and find a few more marbles uh, because I have no doubt, 110% sure, with this many found in one day, just two hours we spent there, uh, I'm sure uh, there will be more to find kicking around underneath the floorboards uh, and in amongst the house there. Uh, we just need to use our eyes and have, our, have a little bit of patience uh, and perseverance. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Hit that uh, like button, comment and subscribe down below. Uh, I'd really uh, like to see you at the at that next site, and uh, hope to uh, hope that you follow us uh, for more. So, anyway, um, really enjoyable day, and uh, we're going to get back there again soon. So, cheers, guys! Happy hunting, and uh, enjoy.